Hey, Manny Edwards here with a Jighead Brewing Company update on the Skipjack Belgian Saison beer. The very first video I did for you guys was about the Skipjack, and it was great. It turned out great. That was an all-grain batch. This is an extract batch, and we're going to see how it turned out. Batch size was 5.5 gallons. The boil size was 7. Boiled for 60 minutes. IBU's 23. Uh, the color was supposed to be about a 6 and alcohol was supposed to be 5.4. Now my software always underestimates how much the Belle Saison yeast will attenuate, so I wound up with 5.9 alcohol by volume and not 5.4. I love the Belle Saison yeast, but it tastes nasty if you open the bottle too soon. But it's been two weeks primary, two weeks secondary, and now it's been two weeks in the bottle. So we're gonna check it, see how good it is. I made it with uh, three pounds of Pilsner dry malt extract, 3.3 pounds of wheat liquid malt extract, one pound of honey at flame out. It was supposed to have some American chocolate, one ounce for color, but I steeped it too hot, so I didn't want to get any astringent flavors in it, so I didn't know if it was going to be bad or not, but I just omitted it. It's got uh, nugget for bittering, and then French Strissel Spalt, East Kent Goldings, and then, this is the weird part, half an ounce of mosaic for five minutes. And the idea was to give it some of that citrusy, fruity flavor from the mosaic. Well, you've got the specs on it now, so let me just uh, get the bottle and we'll pop it open and see. All right, let's pop it open, see what we got. Oh yeah. Plenty of smoke. Lots of bubbles. About one finger of foam. Kind of sour in a nice way. Sour, floral, fruity, beautiful golden color. It doesn't have a really distinct cit citrusy smell. It's not as rich in the aroma department as the all grain version of it was. Of course, the all grain we had um, sweet orange peel and lemongrass additions at five minutes to give it some extra flavor. Maybe a little lemony, but that might be from the yeast. In any event, it smells good. It's got a nice clean yeasty smell to it of the type that you would expect from a saison beer without being overpowering. It's promising so far. All right, let's taste it. Mm. That's nice. It's, um, it's a medium light body. It's fairly clean, not as complex as the first batch I made. You know, I've had some really good extract beers. Extracts lend themselves to doing a certain style very well, like a light American lager or a standard American lager. Now, I could be totally wrong about this, okay, but I'm just starting to think, and this may not be any insight to you guys, but it's, it's new to me. I don't know if extracts lend themselves to doing something that's really complex for that, you've got to have the grains, but I don't know for sure, maybe not. This one doesn't take you through as many phases across your tongue, you know? I'll try it again. It definitely has an indistinct citrusy flavor. Maybe sort of grapefruity. I thought maybe I smelled lemon, but it's just like an indistinct citrus. I like the clarity of it. It's a beautiful color. It's really refreshing. It's, uh, and you know, it's got enough complexity to it that makes it more interesting than <clears throat> a standard American lager, which I'm not knocking. Sometimes I want something that's just really carbonated and light bodied and doesn't have much taste and I just want to refresh myself. So it's nice, but 
It's also good if you can get something that's dry and refreshing and sparkling like this that does have some flavor but not too thick a body. Maybe that's why I like the Belgian Saison style so well. I think it's perfect beer. I've modified the recipe for the all grain version and what I'm going to do is uh, Pilsner American Red Wheat because it's a little more tart, uh, some German Vienna and honey and I'm going to use Tetnong and East Kent Goldings and I'm going to leave the mosaic off of it next time and I'm going to change the yeast. I'm going to try the Y-Yeast 3711. I forgot to mention a couple of other specs for you. Original gravity was 1.052 and I nailed it. it. I got 1.052. And then the final gravity was calculated at uh, 1.010 and I got 1.007. And I have a sneaking suspicion that if I had bumped the temperature up more it would have gone even drier, but this is plenty dry, it's good. Fermented at uh, 74 degrees ambient temperature and it got up to about 81 degrees during primary. That was the temperature of the yeast, you know, in the carboy. If I had gone up maybe to the mid 80s, it might have attenuated a little more, but I'm not missing anything here. I think it did a good job drying out. I transferred it from primary to secondary into a keg and let it sit there for two weeks and then I cold crashed it, added gelatin, let it settle out, and then poured off the, the dregs, and then started bottling from that. Uh, four ounces of cane sugar in a five gallon keg that was, you know, right full to the brim. It's got nice carbonation. The Belgian Saison beer should be a little more carbonated than uh, a fuller bodied ale. The tap line has got to be really clean. So I just have some line cleaner, and then I've got a keg that's full of uh, sanitizer, and I run sanitizer through it. That has worked out fine so far. I haven't ruined any batches in the bottles by doing that yet. This beer is quite cold, and I'm gonna pour the rest of it, and then I'm gonna let it warm up for a few minutes. I don't like warm beer, but if it's too cold, it doesn't open up and let you have all the flavors. So it does need to warm up just a little bit. These glasses are really nice in that they keep the beer cold longer because anything that's spherical has less surface area and doesn't lose heat as quickly. It's shaped kind of like a tulip so it closes at the top and then you can contain the smells a little better when you're sniffing it. Because so much of a sizzle beer is in the aroma this is good. I'm wondering if another week in the bottle might not improve it. I'm not sure. It, I'm not getting any off flavors or anything. I'm just wondering if more of the citrus might come through. I think maybe the mosaic is a good idea, but I only put half an ounce at five minutes, and I'm not sure that that's enough. Especially in a bottle conditioned beer. I'm not sure that half an ounce of mosaic is enough to to stick with it. A saison beer really does need to age a little bit to attenuate some of those you know strong yeasty flavors from saison yeast. And yet while that's improving the hops are deteriorating because you're losing hop flavor and aroma. Point is that you need a balance here. Maybe I need to up the mosaic a little bit to give it some of that fruity flavor, citrusy, grapefruit flavor uh, that'll stick with it until the yeast is right. So we're gonna cut. I'm gonna let it warm up five or 10 minutes. All right, we're back and it's been about uh, 15 minutes. Letting this thing sit for a few minutes and warm up a little bit has really opened up the middle. There's definitely a grapefruity citrus flavor in there. Now the bitterness makes sense. Now the bitterness at the end in the finish makes sense because it's, it, it begins with a purpose in the middle and then finishes off in kind of a bitter dry 
Very inviting to the next drink. This is probably one of those beers that I would let warm up a little bit in my hand. Not one that I would drink ice cold. Ooh, that would be good with a hamburger. A well done hamburger with lots of crispy vegetables in it. Highly seasoned. Anything that's got a strong taste. Oh, cheeses. Like a manchego cheese would be really good with it. Gruyere cheese. Uh, intense cheddar would be really good with this. Homemade bread, butter, pickles, olives, that kind of stuff. Great pairings with this. So, I've had better beers. I've bought better beers and I've made better beers. <clears throat> if this was as good as I could ever get, it'd be good enough. This is definitely enjoyable. I don't know if it would win any contests. I'll have the recipe at uh, jigheadbrewing.com. I'm thinking about it starting to include that information also at survivalnewsonline.com. That website has a lot more traffic and I've discovered since I started doing this that a lot of those people are into home brewing or at least have some interest in it. So either way, survivalnewsonline.com or jigheadbrewing.com. But this is a Jighead Brewing Project and this has been an update of the Skipjack Belgian Saison Project. I'll see you around soon and we'll have more beer.